Now let's create that image for the first Harry Potter scene. And for that, I took this really bad photo of the chapter Dudley Demented. I mean, who doesn't love Dudley go crazy? Lucky for us, the first scene is more or less already an image prompt, setting the mood for this chapter by describing a very hot and dry day, all plants dried out, dust lying on the cars, meaning that it shouldn't require much more input for a great image in Stable Diffusion 3, right? We're just going to have those two image prompts now, and I'm going to put one of them, the first one, uh, which is just the text from the book from Harry Potter into Stable Diffusion and we're going to compare those images whether there's a difference after optimization and before and you can be the judge for that. Okay, you immediately see that Stable Diffusion 3 was trained with Harry Potter images. I mean, you see the privet drive with those classic brickstone row buildings typical for England and yeah, don't get me wrong, I like the image but clearly it looks like a perfect day in summer, green grass, green trees and all those dusty cars are missing. So let's check what happens when we take the optimized image prompt. It's a bit more text, yes, but adding details where it's important. So we put this in here, bam, here is our optimized image. I immediately feel the dryness, the street even is dusty, the trees are all missing their green leaves, still a bit of green patch over there. The sunset is even setting the right mood for an ending day in summer, which is correct according to the text. Now the cars arrived, however, not dusty at all. So let's head back to the image prompt and see what happened with those cars. Those cars are usually gleaming and they now stand dusty in the driveway. And this is a contradictive description. You don't want that for your image AI. It needs clear instructions. Before we create the remaining images for our Harry Potter scenes, I quickly go through my holy image optimization tool that you can copy, use for your D&D scenes, general image optimization, game creation, whatever. I put the link into this description below. Check it out. So very briefly, this optimizer works with a list of 14 rules and there are just very few ones that are interesting uh, to point out. For example, rule zero, of course, most important, only choose one scene. It might happen that you have multiple locations within one scene. And for example, in a driveway with people going inside the house, so the AI should pick the more important one. Actually put this in here. It's a second. Choose the more relevant scene. And additionally, we want the AI to identify characters, their actions, which was not important for our first scene, of course, no characters in there. And now we, uh, the interesting parts avoid any names except for famous persons. And this is very funny, like Dumbledore, Yoda, or Lincoln. When your name is Alfred, that's not important. So the image AI doesn't need to know that. However, when it's Harry Potter, it should know that because it might actually know how Harry Potter looks like. And similar to saving that irrelevant names, we avoid any mentions of sounds, speech, or acoustic descriptions because it's not important for the image AI to know that there is a bird chirping in the background or there's a train rumbling in the distance. And finally, here we have the important part, always stay in the present. And obviously this didn't work for the first scene as the described cars are once gleaming. And this is a past description. <laughs> Damn it, I need to elaborate on that. I just can't get this out of this uh, descriptions. Finally, we have an example to teach the AI what a good optimization might look like. And now let's head into the second scene and create it. And again, we just copy the second scene, I think up to here. Uh, yeah. Uh, describing the people living in Privet Drive uh, to be forced to stay inside, not able to wash their cars due to a water shortage. I'm curious uh, for the result, as again, we get more text than we put in. So I'm putting it into Stable Diffusion and here we go. A quick result that definitely has some stalker vibes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I would like to run this again to get some less creepy images. All right, much better. <laughs> you see those people inside the houses. Uh, still, I copied the original scene and I just want to show you the comparison. I'm going to create an image with the original scene now. And obviously, stable diffusion prompt understanding is all right, but you can see that it lacks many details and information. Now let's head back to our final scene. And it's about that teenage boy with glasses. We all know who it is. And he's the only one withstanding the heat. And he's just lying into what's left of the flowers, 
with a very rugged look, dirty t-shirt, dirty clothes, and there's some more information about how those snobby people wouldn't approve of him, uh, which is, by the way, irrelevant when for the image AI here. So let's see what the image uh, that we get looks like when optimizing the scene. I'm really curious. <laughs> Whoopsie, all right, kids, close your eyes. Daddy, sorry for reading this to you. No, seriously, the neighbors would not approve of this. Looks like Stable Diffusion still has a limbic syndrome. Anyways, to watch this image away, I'm gonna run this again. Wow, this looks almost perfect, except for he may be dead. <laughs> but seriously, this is a great image with this rugged t-shirt, with, with these stains. He's just had enough of this world. I really love this image. In parallel, I tried to create an image with Dolly 3 to compare those AIs but apparently it doesn't want to, so man, OpenAI is really snobby these days. I'm just gonna replace Harry Potter with boy and private drive with street, and maybe that works. Harry Potter-like is maybe also blocked. Let's go back to boy. Now let's see if we can create an image. Oh my damn. Did Rowling know that Harry apparently has a morbid appearance in this scene? Man, please do not, I repeat, do not use Dolly 3 for this scene when reading it to your kids. <laughs> Anyways, I love this comparison of those image AIs and in the end I need to say that Stable Diffusion 3 is my favorite. We did not do the comparison to Leonardo AI. Um, This will come in the next videos. I hope that you enjoy it and see you all in the next one. Bye bye.